Hey guys, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to definitely subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to be answering all of you guys' hair questions. I receive so many hair questions, comments, DMs, sliding up on my story, on my YouTube videos, and I made a post on Instagram. Let me look it up really quickly. And I basically said in the caption, what are some hair questions slash issues that you are currently having with your hair? I'll be creating a YouTube video based off of your current hair dilemmas. This is the post. If you did comment something, I will be answering it. So I'm just going to go through the comments and I'm going to answer your questions. One of the comments says, I have the same curls as yours, but they never come out looking right after drying. It's just frizzy. What can I do? So the biggest thing that everyone needs to know is frizz is caused from lack of moisture, an excess amount of friction on your hair, not using products that work for your hair, and just not doing the right routine for your hair. So if you have similar hair like me, this may not work for you, but you can try using more moisturizing products. I used to use like gels and jellies and all that stuff, but now I'm more of a leave-in oil cream girl or just a leave-in cream type of girl now because the moisture that my hair gets Gets, makes my hair look like this and lasts so much longer and so much better deep condition once a week use a moisturizing conditioner make sure you're using protein every couple of wash days like once a month or every other I like to do every other using a protein deep conditioner and then a moisturizing deep conditioner and then I also use moisturizing product when I am not somewhere I am not filming when I am home my bonnet is on my head and it stays on my head. And that bonnet does not come off unless it literally needs to come off because I don't want my hair constantly touching my shirt because I don't have like a million silk shirts. So your cotton shirt, whatever fabric, polyester, whatever, it is going to cause friction on your hair and that will cause frizz. So if you're just sitting around doing nothing, you can put a silk robe on, put your hair in a bonnet, put a silk scarf around your hair. And I also have a silk pillowcase or my hair in case my bonnet falls off and that just helps to keep my curls intact and to not create frizz. What are some good hair masks that'll leave my curls hydrated, defined, and help with frizz? I have a lot of favorite hair masks, but I'll just list a couple of them. Bomba Curls, their forbidden Dominican hair mask, perfection. The Shea Moisture Shea Butter Mask. I'm not sure the exact name, but I'll put a picture of it. The Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. The Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Deep Conditioner. The Curl Flow Deep Conditioner. Those are all great ones. I also have a YouTube video explaining all of my favorite deep conditioners, and that'll be up here and down below if you want to check that out. I have 2B hair, and I have damaged hair loss. I'm only 14. It's hard to do anything because of my hair loss but I want to know how to get my hair to stop being dry, damaged, and frizzy. I also have wet frizz. Please help with any products that are really cheap. Again, I'm 14 and broke, so if you have any tips, like anything can help, I'm all ears. Your hair needs moisture, and if your hair is also breaking off, we first need to do is a moisturizing treatment, then a protein treatment, and a moisturizing treatment again. Try and be as gentle with your hair so you not cause excess hair loss. But if you're having like a large amount of hair loss and you feel like it is very abnormal, I definitely think you should go to your doctor because I am not certified in anything. I'm not a doctor, dermatologist, cosmetologist about like hair and stuff. I just know from research, my own personal research. So I definitely think you should go talk to a doctor or a dermatologist and see if there's a cosmetologist that could recommend any doctors or someone for you to talk to about your scalp. And wet frizz just means you should apply more products. So keep applying more products. You can use Cantu. They have some new products. Do not use their regular line. Make sure you're using the line for their natural hair and you should be good. And they're also really affordable. Getting my washing go to last for longer than two days. How you preserve your curls at night is the biggest thing. You need to find out how to sleep with your curls and do not touch your curls throughout the day. I tell you guys to not do this, but I do it. But I'm like always touching my hair, curling my curls, but you need to not do that. When your hair is out, just leave it alone. In the morning, do a quick refresh, spray a little water, apply like conditioner and some frizzy parts. Make sure you have a silk pillowcase and just, again, find a sleeping method that works for you. It's so hard for me to preserve my curls overnight. I actually have a YouTube video explaining how I preserve my curls. That will be down below if you guys want to check that out. Basically, you can do a silk scarf, scrunchie, silk pillowcase, bonnet, any of those things, or to sleep with your hair down. Find what will work best for you. Should I use a hair dryer or should I let my hair dry naturally if I want to keep my hair as healthy as possible? So either one works for you. I personally like to air dry, but sometimes I will have to have to diffuse because I need to go. I need my curls to dry and I hate, hate, hate going to sleep with dripping, soaking wet curls. So if you want to dry your hair, make sure you're using warm slash cool heat. You don't want to constantly use warm heat because some people say warm heat won't give you damage, but I am not going to tell you that using warm heat on your hair dryer 
does not give you damage because it could. I don't know the temperature of your hair dryer, so I recommend just using cool all the way. I don't think it will cause any damage, but because I have never personally experienced, but I know some people that constantly use heat with their hair dryer have experienced it so it's really just up to your preference but if you're going to use a hair dryer use cool if you're air drying there's really nothing extra to do than just like hair air dry how to get defined slash fluffy roots um if you want your roots to be more defined apply the product at your roots when you're defining your hair don't just define the ends make sure you're defining your roots you want to break the product through your roots smooth it through your roots when you're deep conditioning and conditioning it's okay to get a little conditioner here you don't want to put like the whole bottle here you want to focus it here but you can still get it up here to help define your roots if you're dealing with fluffy roots apply more product if you want your hair to have more fluffy roots because i'm really not sure what you're asking with this question then you can apply less product don't apply as much product to your roots just do it from here and down dry frizz and no volume also my hair takes so long to dry even with the diffuser so it's hard for me to wear my hair down that is just curly hair for you your hair is not going to dry fast that's just the thing with curly hair like if you know someone with straight hair their hair dries in like 15 minutes that just will not happen for us it's just something we have to deal with and embrace having our hair wet for like 20 hours <laughs> for dry frizz again it's the lack of moisture try adding more moisture to your hair you need to apply more product you should be applying enough product to where you do not have wet frizz if you still have wet frizz wet your hair and apply more product frizz and tangles moisture and make sure when you're detangling your hair you have a good detangling method i used to use only my fingers and just wasn't cutting it out because the tangles would come right back so then i switched to a wide tooth comb that was great but the tangles are like coming back faster but when i use a brush i like to use my tangle teaser ultimate detangling brush with that it clumps my curls so there's really the tangles are not coming back as much how do i keep my hair from getting wet frizz and getting more defined curls apply more water and product if you apply more water and products, the wet frizz will go away. And get more defined curls, use a brush to define your curls, finger coil, apply more product, and apply your product in sections. I have a dry scalp. Oil your scalp every other day, however you want, every night. Just take a very lightweight oil. My favorite is the Kin Essentials HD oil. I love that oil so much. And I just apply it to my scalp and massage, and that really helps with my dry scalp. Hair knots and wet frizz and breakage. Hair knots, there's really nothing you can do other than trying to do more low manipulation styles. But you know, sometimes they're just inevitable. You might just need to cut off the hair knots, wet frizz, more water and more products and breakage just be as gentle as you can with your hair your hair will break like there's gonna be a couple strands that break every once in a while but if you want to try and prevent it as much as you can then you need to just try and be as gentle with your hair this person can't ever keep his hair untangled moisture moisture in your hair is absolutely key if your hair is not moisturized it is going to frizz and frizz leads to tangles when you're detangling detangle with a brush or a comb or make sure you're just using a good conditioner that has great slip and when you're also detangling or you're deep conditioning try twisting your hair and that'll help with keeping the tangles away but sometimes tangles are just inevitable especially with tighter curl patterns absolute flatness at the root but the rest is so bouncy i struggled with this so much basically from ninth grade to like present day i struggle with my roots being so flat but what i found works is not doing a perfect straight part some of you guys may have noticed this some people think i just don't know how to part my hair and i'm not even kidding because i get asked but this is what my part looks like this is my middle part you can see how like my hair is not completely straight and it's like rigid that helps you create volume and to stop the flatness from happening make sure you're using a cleansing shampoo that will really cleanse your hair because if you're not getting all the product buildup off your roots are just going to get flatter and flatter and flatter when you're done styling flip your hair over shake your roots when your hair is dry shake your roots but just shake out your roots try applying your product upside down and using lighter products and less products at your roots refreshing super dry hair every morning you need to use more moisturizing products in the beginning so when you're refreshing you won't have to do it as much and you won't need to use as much products but for refreshing just get a spray bottle fill it with water and then apply leave-in conditioner a regular conditioner or the hair cream that you use you don't want to use too much just do like a table spoon of the leave-in conditioner cream whatever with i would say a cup of water shake the spray bottle spray in the sections that need it smooth that spray mixture in and then you're all good and just let your hair dry hair being flat sticking to the roots in the back when you're done styling your hair shake your roots you don't have to go crazy and then that should help when your hair is dry lift your roots shake your roots a little bit and do not apply the product directly onto your roots if you're struggling with flatness how you know you got dead ends your hair will look different from the rest of your hair. So if like my hair all looked like this and like I had ends that were just straight, 
that would be dead ends. It's really just visible what you can see. Frizzy hair, undefined hair while transitioning. I deep condition, wear a silk scarf to sleep and still can't get my hair the way I want it to be by one year transitioning. I am so happy that you are on your transition journey and I'm just going to reiterate what you've probably been told before. It takes time. Some people it takes a month six months, a year, two years, five, whatever, just know you will come to the peak of your hair journey soon. You just need to keep trial and error with products. I would say try new products, try products that do have a great amount of moisture. I would highly recommend the Camille Rose products, Shea Moisture products, Curl Flow products, just moisturizing products that would be great for your hair. That should help with moisture and definition. How to keep our hair moisturized so it won't look dry by the end of the day. Start off with moisturizing products. I feel like I'm literally saying the same thing every single time, but I use a shampoo meant for curly hair and then I use a moisturizing conditioner and then I use a deep conditioner always and then I use a moisturizing leave-in conditioner and then I use a hair cream that has oils in it so it's just automatically sealing it in. You can try methods like the LCO method, LOC method where that helps keep the moisture in your hair as well. It's really just how the products you use and for some people that can give them moisture overload but then you can use a shampoo that has protein or a conditioner that has protein or a deep conditioner or a leave-in that has protein just make sure like a couple of your products have protein and some of them are just strictly moisturizing so that you can make sure your hair keeps the moisture that it needs the frizz and definition is something that i can't achieve try new products because you might be using the right technique but if the products that you're using are not working then you will just never ever have defined curls so try different products different styling techniques finger coiling using a brush when you're deep conditioning twist your hair and brush the product through also and that will help to keep your curls defined for the styling process to be honest i just don't have enough time since school will work and I do protect the style so my hair isn't the best at this point I'm so frustrated I understand how you feel sometimes my hair I'm going to school and my hair looks an absolute mess like my hair looks like the beginning of some of my YouTube, YouTube videos where I'm showing you guys a rat's nest but honestly that's just my hair looking trash <laughs> but that's like sometimes how I've been going to school lately because I just don't have time to fix my hair like I would choose sleep over fixing my hair or I'm gonna choose sleep over them staying up for four hours because I have to wash and do my whole hair routine. All I'm gonna say is stick through it. Protective styles are something great to do, but just remember you can also just put your hair in one braid and who cares if you have some frizz or whatever, or you're gonna have some bad hair days. So what? And if anyone says anything to you, ask them, are you going to do my hair for me? Are you going to wash and condition my hair for me? Are you gonna sit there and detangle my hair for me? Are you gonna style my hair for me? Are you gonna dry my hair for me for 40 plus minutes or are you gonna sit there with me while I air dry my hair for like eight hours if their answer is no to any of those questions do not let their opinion on how your hair looks if it doesn't look good one day reflect on how you feel about your hair I understand you sometimes will not have time for your hair of course no one is always gonna have time for their hair I rarely have time for my hair. Another reason why I haven't been filming because I just don't have time for my hair. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was like a more relaxed answering your guys' question because sometimes I'm just like strict from like the book in my head of curly hair rules. But I just gave you guys what I feel like is the main thing. And like, again, I will have the videos linked down below to your questions that are literally answered in an entire detailed YouTube video will be down below as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video recommendations or videos that you want me to do or anything you want me to try, product recommendations you want me to try, styling recommendation, hair tool recommendations, please let me know. I would love to try them out. I'm honestly on the hunt for trying more products. If you guys like this, this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below anything something i've mentioned previously that you could comment or anything i respond to every single comment i promise you guys i'm not going to respond like that but i respond to every single comment because i love chatting with you guys and commenting on my youtube videos and liking my videos help me so much and if you like this video and you would love to see more hair videos then make sure to hit that subscribe button and while you guys are waiting for one of my next videos after you guys finish this make sure to check out my other videos i'll see you guys next time bye